Glory. Glorious hallelujahs. Hallelujah. How's everybody tonight? Blessed and highly favored because we choose to be joyful. Amen. The power of choice. I love it. We have power to choose. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Second Timothy chapter 3. dissected many times <laughs> but we are in an age of selfie <laughs> it's a selfie age people can't let go of their technology it is their life and they self suffocate <laughs> in selfie and the word tells us that this would come. In 2 Timothy chapter 3. Is everybody there? Amen. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times. In other words, he's talking about divisions will come. For men will be lovers of who? Yeah. Themselves. Themselves. It's a selfie generation. They'll be lovers of money which support their selfie generation. They'll be boasters. They'll be proud. They'll be blasphemers. They'll be disobedient to parents. They'll be unthankful. They'll be unholy. Unloving. Unforgiving. Slanders. Without control of herself. Brutal. Despisers of what is pleasing to God. Traitors. Headstrong. Haughty. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. These are called protectors of self or self-protectors. Does everybody understand that? Amen. Having a form of godliness. In other words, having a form of religion because they hide behind they're false religions. But actually, they're selfies. They're all about self. Me, myself, and I, the trinity of Satan. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power because it is a false religion. There is no power. And from such, people do what? Turn away. So they'll be lovers of themselves. There'll be many things going on. There'll be much division which we see right now, there's tremendous division. Uh, these are inherited species, alien of darkness. They are aliens of darkness. They're lovers of the world. They're self-seeking. They feed on sin. They are rebellious to the will of God. They are captives of deception and promoters of lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and pride of life. They fellowship with other selfies Amen. and demons. Looking for opportunities to promote self. And ready to protect self. Using boasting, pride, etc. A self-protectors. They are, have self-protectors. They're haters of the truth because it exposes them. And we're talking about self-protectors tonight that protect self. We must understand that self is an offspring of darkness. This is called your old man. And these self-protectors that protect self protect the old man because the old man is an offspring of darkness. That's why you must be born again. Amen? Amen. And Romans chapter 2. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are seeing more and more and more of it. It is incredible what's happening right now in the world. It's incredible what's happening in our country.
There are divisions even in the body of Christ. There are self-protectors because there's still selfies in the body of Christ. These are religious spirits not believing in the re reality of resurrection power. Don't believe in demons. Don't believe you can lose your salvation. They're deceived, caught up in deception. They don't even read the Bible. There's no relationship. It's all religion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 2 and verse 1, therefore you are inexcusable. In other words, they always make excuses too. Amen. Oh man, whoever you are who judge, for whatever you judge another, you condemn yourself. For you who judge practice the same things. They love to expose everyone else when they're doing the same thing. Amen. It's selfie. But we know that the judgment of God is according to truth against those who practice such things. And do you think this, O oh man, who you judge those practicing such things and doing the same, that you will escape the judgment of God? No way, homie. Or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to what? Oh, Repentance. Repentance. Hmm. They make excuses. They blame others. They lie. They justify. These are tools of self-protectors. Hmm. But with God, he sees it all, doesn't he? Amen. These are know-it-alls. They know it all, man. But in accordance to your hardness and your you're what? Does everybody see that? Impedient, um, impenitent heart. You are what? In other words, they're not willing to repent. You are treasuring enough for yourself what? Wrath. In the day of wrath. And what? Revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Come on, read it with me. Who will run to each one according to his deeds. Eternal life to those who by patient, patient, that means endurance, continuance in doing goods, seek for glory, honor, and immortality. But those who are what? Selfies. Self-seeking. And do not obey the truth, but obey the unrighteousness, indignation, wrath tribulation and anguish on every soul who does evil of the Jew first but also the Greek but glory honor and peace to everyone who works what is good to the Jew first and also to the Greek but for there is no what partiality with God none none so they use these selfie tools to protect himself but God does know it all doesn't he Amen. <laughs> they lie to protect. When they get caught in a lie, they become angry. Angry. Because anger is used as a protector of self. Boy, they hate to get caught in a lie. <laughs> it's called self-protection. It's a self-protector of anger. You know, even when there's a child, because a child is nothing but a selfie, Amen. It's called childish. <laughs> Man, you, you, you tell them something, they get angry. Right? They get caught in something, they ain't telling the truth. Until you finally convince them. Come on, it's okay, tell the truth. I'm not going to kick your butt. Just tell the truth. And, you're, and I, you don't, listen, you never tell a kid you're going to hell because you're not telling the truth. Amen. Not until they're at least 16. <laughs> but anything under that, you know, you, you might start at 13. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> you got to use something, right? Amen. You want to hell, you little devil? <laughs> you heathen. <laughs> Come out in the name of Jesus. <laughs> 
Proverbs 14. <laughs> I've run into many people who told me, yeah, man, when I was going, I was involved in this church, and man, I was like nine years old. They kept telling me I'm going to hell. Nice. Freaking the kid out. <laughs> Let their parents tell them, you know. <laughs> Proverbs 14. Really, I met some nuns that talked about hell so much that it sounded like they lived there. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> You're going to hell. And believe me, I was one of those little varmints, you know. <laughs> they should have they told me I was going to hell from the age of who knows what. Jesus had another plan though. Not that I wasn't headed on the way to hell, because I definitely was. Proverbs 14 and verse 15. Let's read it together. The simple believes every word, but the prudent considers well his steps. A wise man fears and departs from evil, but a fool does what? Rages, hates, and is what? Self-confident. Wow. A quick-tempered man acts foolishly, and a man of wicked intentions is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil will bow before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. A fool rages, self-confidence. Self, these are self-protectors, outbursts of wrath and rage. You know, and the, and the self-confident is the area where it's a know-it-all. I know it. I've been it. I've done it. I can do it. Ay, 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 ay. I always call that a demonic pizza. 1 Corinthians 3. Self. We must recognize self protectors, especially when you start hearing it come out of your mouth. Amen. You realize that you're trying to protect yourself instead of exposing it. Can God trust a self, an individual that's protecting himself? No. The word says deny yourself, right? Amen. Amen. Now protect it. 1 Corinthians 3, please. Why are we talking about this? Because the Holy Spirit is exposing these things. In verse 1, please. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 1. And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual people, but as selfies, <laughs> as to babes in Christ. I fed you with milk and not with solid food, for until now you were not able to receive it, and even now you still aren't. For you're a selfie, for you are still carnal, you selfie. Where there are what? Envy, strife, and division among you. Are you not acting like a carnal selfie and behaving like mere men? I love how he says mere men. What are you saying? You're acting like a human. We're no longer human. We're eternal. We come from a royal family. We've been grafted in. We're joint heirs of the creator who created me and you. Joint heirs of the creator. Snap, if we could just comprehend that. We are offsprings, born of the spirit, not of the flesh. We are no longer humanites or eternal lights. We are more than conquerors. We're blessed every spiritual blessed, seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Angels always around us. 
The Lord always going before us trying to make a way. But see, people are not sensitive to those things because they're too involved in themselves. Is everybody okay? Carnal, behaving like mere men. I love it. Mere men, he says. Whoa. Self-protection. What are those self-protectors? Envy. There's a fruit. These are, there's fruit of self-protectors called strife. Divisions. These are unconverted souls. They might get a new spirit, but their soul ain't converted yet. Amen? So their soul is still serving the old man. Serving the flesh. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Self-protectors. They're a bunch of butt butts. Amen. Everything is butt, 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 butt. Because they're always trying to look for an excuse until butt leaves. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. But we're the head, not the tail, right? Amen. Ephesians 4 and verse 30. And do not what? Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all what? Bitterness. bitterness. How many of y'all know that bitterness is, re is really a protector of self? Amen. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, and clamor, these are all protectors of self. And evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. He says, and be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. These are all self protectors living out of the soulish emotions, feeding evil spirits. Those emotions feed evil spirits. In James chapter 3. Let's speak it, please. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of what? Wisdom. Wisdom. God's wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. Why? Because this boasting, this bitter envy, self-seeking, and lying are protectors of self. He says, he says, this is Pope, this, is, this wisdom doesn't descend from above, but is earthly, sensual, and demonic. For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are what? They're there. They're there. So we see bitter, envy, self-seeking, self-protectors of pride, which is boasting. Then they lie to promote. <laughs> which is, let me share with you that uh, lying is a major self-protector. Major. And it is a self-protector of demonic wisdom. This demonic wisdom is distributed by the prince of the power of air. I'm going to say that again. This demonic wisdom is distributed by the prince of the power of air. He keeps... The individual is blind, not able to see beyond themselves. Everything is about them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to Ephesians 2 since we spoke about that. Ephesians chapter 2. Hallelujah, verse 1. Ephesians 2, verse 1. Let's speak it together. And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and what? Sins. In which you once walked according to the course of this world, 
according to the prince of power of error, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh, which is the old man, selfie, and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, which is just as the others. But God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were idiots, selfies, dead in trespasses, he made us alive together with him. Does everybody get it? Okay, the prince of power of error. He is the distributor of this demonic wisdom, which you and I used to associate with, but now we have the wisdom that is from above, and we can outwit the demonic wisdom. Amen? Amen. 2 Corinthians 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. You always see in the arena of self-protectors, there's a false humility. In fact, there is a false compassion also. They use compassion to promote themselves. Does everybody understand that? So they do good deeds so that others can see. False humility, self-righteousness in all of these areas. They're self-serving. It's all about idolatry. And again, this is where self uses the soul to protect self. Self, the old man, will use the soul to protect himself. And 2 Corinthians 12, 19. Would you speak it with me, please? Again, do you think that we excuse Excuse ourselves to you. We speak before God in Christ, but we do all things, beloved, for your edification. For I fear lest when I come, I should not find you such as I wish, and that I shall be found by you in such as you do not wish, lest there be contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, backbiting, whispering, conceits, tumults, lest when I come again my God will humble me among you and I shall mourn for many who have sinned before and have not repented of the uncleanness, fornication, and lewdness which they have practiced. They do not see their own sin. But they can see everybody else's. Again, because they can't see. They are blinded. They've been ca taken captive. They're in darkness. Amen. Self-protectors. They are eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and not of the tree of life. The tree of life is protected. Only those. Now this is powerful. No one eats from the tree of life unless cleansed by the blood of Christ. Nobody. There isn't one person in this world, there isn't one human that can eat of the tree of life unless he has been cleansed by the blood of Christ. Nobody has access to that tree. No one. Only if you've been cleansed by the blood. So then people still eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And they produce the fruits of lawlessness. Because only through the eating of the tree of life can you produce the fruit of righteousness. Amen? So when a person stops eating from the tree of life, he starts eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And it becomes the blinders start to come back on again. They begin to become, they begin to hide themselves, become separated. Because that's what the, the, the wolf does. He goes to the flock and the sheep and separates one. And self, that self-protection starts to come. Unworthiness. Blaming others. All of these arenas where the enemy speaks to that person. In fact, now the voice of the devil is louder than the voice of God. It's actually the voice of self. Has everybody got it? 
See, you must always check what voice is ruling you today. What voice is ruling you? Is it a voice of the soul? The voice of the flesh? The voice of a demon? Or the voice of God? Is it the voice of those emotions? What voice is ruling you today? Always check that out. That's how you self-examine. Well, and you'll know them by the fruit, won't you? You'll know those voices by the fruit. No one again eats from the tree of life unless cleansed by the blood of Christ. Jesus, all others will die in darkness. There's only one tree that brings life. Everyone else will die in darkness. Is everybody okay? Amen. Amen. Philippians 2. That's why when God brings somebody to so forth and you start sharing, they're going to look at your fruits. They're going to look at your conduct. The Holy Spirit in you is going to start tugging their heart. You don't even have to say anything. Then they're going to start talking with you. Then you can tell them they're going to help. <laughs> <laughs> Express the love of Christ. They're going to ask you what's going on. And you can give them your testimony. Amen. Amen. What Jesus has done for you. And if they would like to know Jesus. Tell me you got a great friend. Your best friend is Jesus. You'd like to introduce them to your best friend. Who knows it all. Because <laughs> he made it all. <laughs> Philippians 2. Is everybody there? Praise God, I'm almost there. In verse 1. Philippians 2, verse 1. Therefore, if there's any what? Consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit. Do you understand how essential it is to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit? Because He's the one that's going to guide you to all truth. He's going to convict you. He's going to tell you things to come. That's why his voice must be the leading voice in you. If any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being what? Like-minded. Having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfish ambitions or conceit, but in lowliness of mind. Let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but for the interests of others. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself. He came obedient to the point of death, even to the death of the what? The cross. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. At the, say, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven, those on earth, and those under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with what? Fear, Fear and trembling. Hmm. For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Do all things without what? Complaining and disputing that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life. In other words, living out of the word of God. So that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I've not run in vain or labored in vain. Very powerful. Become one, like-minded, offsprings of Christ. Isn't that what the Holy Spirit's trying to do? Get us to the place where we become like-minded, like-minded with Christ, where we see what God sees. I believe that is the ultimate goal for the Lord, that we begin to see what he sees. It's a plea, I mean, as a, a father when a child begins to see what the father sees, it is pleasing to him. 
Why? Because he can begin to trust. He knows that they're walking in safety now. And so they're departing from those things that are evil. It is a great honor for a father to know that his children see what he sees. And that's, does everybody understand that? I mean, it's a powerful thing. That's what God wants for me and you. He is the great father. He wants us to see what he sees. He's not trying to hold anything back. Oh, hallelujah. Psalm 64, please. That's why all the prophets of old, every time, you know, especially with like with Ezekiel, and he'd, the Lord would come up to him and say, what do you see? What do you see? Because <laughs> he wanted him to see what he saw. When I was, um, when the Lord was training me up, that's what he used to do to me. What do you, what do you see, guy? What would you do? He'd ask me, what would you do? For a while, I got away with it. I said, whatever you want. <laughs> whatever you want. Okay. Then another event would come. What would you do, guy? What do you see? Oh, I, whatever, what do you, what do you, whatever you want. Then I finally said, no more of that. I want to know what you will do because of what you see. And I had to start answering him. And I was becoming more accountable, more responsible. Didn't mean I didn't make some mistakes, let me tell you. Made plenty of them. He's not looking for the perfection in that. He's looking for the accountability. Does everybody get it? First, the accountability. He wants to know if you're even... Paying attention to those things. You know, this may sound strange, but it always reminds me of our dog. We had a dog that my wife trained up very well. And I didn't need a leash with this dog. It was a Doberman. And when I would walk down the street, this dog's nose would bump my knee every once in a while. This is the dog that had my visitation from the Lord when she fought off the serpent. Well, she didn't really fight off the serpent. I mean, God removed it. But she was my, I called her my demon slayer. Because she was there, my visitation from the Lord. And she saw that serpent manifest and she started going after it. And that's when I removed that serpent because I didn't want it to hurt my dog. But this dog, when I walked with it, if I stopped, that dog sat and looked. A cat could run across her. She wouldn't budge unless you gave her the okay. And during this period of time where the Holy Spirit was training me, that's all I thought of is how that dog was obedient to me. And that's how God wanted me to be obedient to him. That dog died on me twice. And I, I asked the Lord because the, the Lord was getting ready to restore my wife. And I said, please, Lord, keep the dog alive until my wife gets home. And that dog died on me. We'd be jogging at night and poof, died on me. Tongue hanging out, gone. I laid my hands on her, prayed in the Holy Spirit. I said, no, no. I cried and he brought her back. And he did it twice for me. And then when my wife and I were restored, she stayed alive for another almost a year, something like that. I don't know. But that dog always reminded me of how God wants us to be with him. So I would walk with him. I didn't bump my nose on his knee, but I grabbed hold of him. And I would always look up to him. He was always there. I was always paying attention to him. What? Ready. Where do I go? had sense of the angels around me all the time. See, we have the power to choose to look through the physical realm into the spirit realm. But if you're caught up in yourself and you're making excuses for yourself and protecting yourself, you won't see beyond yourself. And you'll walk in fear and torment. 
oppression and everything else. Because the enemy is just trying to weigh you down then. So you can't move forward. Is everybody okay? Amen. Psalm 64, is everybody there? Let's speak it. Hear my voice, O God, in my meditation. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity, who sharpen their tongue like a sword. They bend their bows and shoot their arrows, bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the blameless. Suddenly they shoot at him and do not fear, because there is no fear of God in selfies. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They talk of laying snares secretly. They say, who will see them? They devise iniquities. They have perfected a shrewd scheme, but the inward thought and the heart of a man are deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded. So he will make them stumble over their own tongue. All who see them shall flee away. All men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. Powerful. Proverbs 14. We must know what they are and be able to discern so that when we start using it ourselves, we stop. And repent quickly. Amen. You know, the, today when the Holy Spirit was giving me this message, he was very expressive about the area of being cleansed. He was very stern and expressive in the arena of how nobody can eat of the tree of life unless he's cleansed by the blood. So when a person sinned and doesn't repent, he can't even eat from the tree of life. He actually eats from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thinking they're eating from the tree of life. Because the wisdom now is deceiving them. That wisdom is no longer from the Lord. It's from the prince of power of air. Wow. Blew me away. Proverbs 14 and verse 1. It says, a wise woman builds her house, but the foolish pulls it down with her hands. Verse 2, let's speak it. He who walks in his uprightness fears the Lord, but he who is perverse in his ways despises him. In the mouth of a fool is a rod of pride. In the mouth of a selfie is a rod of pride. But the lips of the wise will preserve them. Where no oxen are, the trough is clean. But much increase comes by the strength of an ox. A faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. A scoffer seeks wisdom and does not find it, but knowledge is easy to him who understands. Go from the presence of a foolish man when you do not perceive in him the lips of knowledge. The wisdom of a prudent is to understand his ways, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools mock at sin, but among the upright there is favor. The heart knows its own bitterness, and a stranger does not share its joy. The house of the wicked will be overthrown, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is a way of death. Even in laughter the heart may sorrow, and the end of mirth may be grief. The backslider in heart will be filled with his own ways, but a good man will be satisfied from above. Philippians 4. Is everybody okay? Amen. Are you getting this? Amen. You know Think about when people are in addiction, they constantly deny it, justify it, they compromise it, you know? Because they're trying to, they make excuses why they're using. 
because they're actually feeding self and also feeding de demonic spirits. Philippians 4, 4. Is everybody there? Let's speak it. Rejoice where? In the Lord when? Always. Always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for everything. Be anxious for nothing. Nothing. Be anxious for nothing. I can tell you that selfies are always anxious. They can't endure. They can't even sit still most of the time. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by what? And that's one thing they don't do. But they'll ask you to pray for them. But they won't pray themselves. Then they get upset when you go tell them pray for yourself. Roar! Then they give the excuse, you don't love me. You're right, I don't love that demon. <laughs> But you as a person, I love. <laughs> so go pray. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Let your job <laughs> be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will what? Guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. There is no endurance for these individuals. In fact, most of the time, they become bullies to get what they want. They force things. They compromise. They're complacent. They justify everything. Their actions and everything they do is justification. Self-protectors. And I want to close Ephesians 5. <clears throat> false humility, self-righteous, self-serving. Self uses soul to protect self. They carry the butt ministry. They become religious. They're bound by the letter. But they can quote scriptures, man. Can't practice them, though. <laughs> Therefore, be what? Imitators. Verse 1, imitators of God as dear children. Can you imagine that? God wants you to imitate him. Amen. Not in an I, God, prideful, self-righteous thing. He means his character. Remember, I share with you, his greatest desire is that you see what he sees. He gets so excited when you do that. When he, when he asks you, and he asks you every day, you just don't realize it. Sometimes it's that still, soft voice. You, you don't even realize. Sometimes it's just an inner impression. And sometimes it's a slap in the head. All depends on how bad he wants your attention. But sometimes he doesn't want to do that. He just wants to know if you're paying attention. That's why the word says, be sober, be alert. Amen? Amen. Be consistent. You can't be victorious. You can't get there without being consistent. But his desire is that you see what he sees. Man, he gets so excited. He's going to ask you every single day. What do you see? And that conversation is in you. Hallelujah. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children and walk in what? Love. love is Christ also has loved us and given himself for us. An offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling of aroma. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not even be named among you as is fitting for saints. Neither filthiness nor foolishness or foolish talking nor coarse jesting, which are not fitting but rather giving of thanks. For this you know that no fornicator, unclean person or covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Why? Because they're not eating in the tree of life. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not be partakers with them, for you were once darkness, but you are light in the world. Walk as children of light, 
For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord, and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather what? Expose them. So is, let me ask you this, is self-protectors works of darkness? Yes. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret, but all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore he says, Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. See then he walks circumspectly, not as fools or selfies, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the what? Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and submitting to one another in the fear and reverence of God Almighty. Self-protectors, it is our responsibility to discern these things. And when you begin to hear it come out of your mouth, stop and repent because, you know, you're just protecting yourself, the old man. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Father, we thank you for your word. We are honored and blessed. Let this seed that's been imparted in us be protected by the blood and grow and bear fruit for your glory and take every part of our being so that we are discerning seeing and hearing according to your will and your way and let your blessing be upon your people tonight that they may walk in truth be children of truth and imitators of you in jesus mighty name and everybody said amen, amen. be blessed and stay dressed with the glory